series solution of Bessel's differential equation leading to Bessel functions. Okay, now now the the Bessel's differential equation of order n is in the form okay x square d square y by d x square plus x dy by dx plus n square minus x square minus n square into y equal to zero. This is called equation number one. Okay, where n is a non-negative real constant or parameter. Now coefficient of y double dash. This is a y double dash. This is a y dash. Y double dash means second order. Coefficient of y double dash is a x square. Is a co y coefficient of y double dash is x square. This is called a p naught of x. And this p naught p naught of x is equal to zero at x values is zero. X is zero. That is means p naught of x is zero. We assume the series solution of equation number one in the form. Okay. Now take y is a summation. R is a zero to infinity. A R x is to k plus R. This is equation number two. Now this y you differentiate two times. First you differentiate with respect to x. You get d y by d x. The summation is as it is. A R is also same. Only differentiate x variable. This is one. This is k plus R into x is to k plus R and minus one. Again one more time differentiate. d square y by d x square is equal to summation r is zero to infinity a r is as it is k plus r is as it is only differentiate this part. It's a k plus r minus one into x is to k plus r minus one minus one is a minus two. Now this y y dash y double dash. Okay, using equation number one. Now equation number one becomes now substitute y. d y by d x and d square y by d x square y y dash y double dash substitute. Now equation number one becomes summation r is zero to infinity a r a r means this is a y double dash d square y by d x square means taking this one. Now summation a r is zero to infinity a r k plus r k plus r minus one into x is two k plus r this is minus two. And this is a x square is a plus two, minus two plus two get cancel only x is to k plus r. Plus again this one x into d y by d x. This degree is one. Okay, d y by d x taking this one plus summation r is zero to infinity a r k plus r x is to k plus r minus one x is to minus one and x is to plus one get cancel only remaining x is to k plus r. Now plus x square into y. Now this is a y. This is y. X square is there means x is to k plus r and into x square. That is called a r into x is to k plus r plus two. And minus n square into y. open this bracket minus n square into y. Minus n square into y. Y is this summation equation number two. Summation r zero to infinity a r x to k plus r equal to zero. Okay. Now collecting the first this first term, second second term, fourth terms fourth terms together we have. Now taking common summation r zero to infinity a r x to k plus r. Summation a r x to k plus r. Summation a r x to k plus r. Taking common. Now inside is k plus r into k plus r minus one. Plus k plus r and minus n square. Now this third term is as it is. That is equal to zero. Okay. Next step. Now again you take k plus r, k plus r common. Next step. Summation r is zero to infinity a r x to k plus r. K plus r is a common. K plus r minus one means this one. K plus R minus one, and this is plus one. This is common. So plus one minus n square, and this term is as it is. Now minus plus get cancelled. K plus R into K plus R, two times means these are terms are same. K plus R into K plus R, K plus R whole square and minus n square. This term is as it is. We shall equate the coefficient of lowest degree term in x. That is x to k to zero. 
Now lowest degree term put R is equal to 0 A naught A naught K square R is a 0 K square minus N square equal to 0 this when you take R is equal to 0 you get X to K plus 2 it's not possible only first term A naught into K square minus N square equal to 0 setting A naught is not equal to 0 suppose this is equal to 0 you will not get the K value a naught is not equal to 0, we have k square minus n square equal to 0 or k square is equal to n square or k is equal to plus or minus n. Also, we need to compute independently equate the coefficient of x to k plus 1 to 0 means take r is equal to 1, take r is equal to 1, r is equal to 1. This is x to k plus 3, this is x to k plus 1. Taking coefficient of only x to k plus 1 means only first term this term. Now take r is equal to 1, r is equal to 1, a1, okay this is a1, r is equal to 1, k plus 1, whole square minus n square equal to 0. Okay. Now since, oh sorry, this implies a1 equal to 0, since k plus 1 whole square minus n square equal to 0 or k plus 1 whole square is equal to n square or take square root of this one means k plus 1 is equal to plus or minus n which is cannot be expected as we have already k is equal to plus or minus n okay next we shall equate the coefficient of x to k plus 2 x to k plus 2 but r is greater than or equal to 2 to 0 okay now take x to k plus 2 put r is equal to this one x to k plus 2 is a a r r is there this one a r sorry k plus r whole square minus n square take x to k k plus r means r become r minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 get cancel r is equal to r minus 2 like this a plus a r minus 2 equal to 0 okay now this part you shift right hand side you get minus a r minus 2 and this is a multiply a r is equal to only minus a r minus 2 divided by k plus r whole square minus n square but r is greater than or equal to 2 this is equation number 3 now so we have k values k is equal to 1 is plus 1 is minus n first you take k is equal to plus n in equation number 3 and second k is equal to minus n in equation number 3 now first to take k is equal to plus n plus n in equation number 3 now ar is equal to minus ar minus 2 k is a n plus 2 whole square minus n square you know the formula a plus b whole square n square minus n square get cancel r square is as it is plus 2 n r a square plus b square plus 2 ab formula okay now this is continue now you put r is equal to 2, 3, 4 and so on. Taking r is a 2, starting from 2. When you take r is equal to 1, you get a minus 1 is not possible. Put r is equal to 0, a minus 2 is not possible. Starting from r is equal to 2. So starting series a0, a1, a2, a3 required. Putting r is equal to 2, 3, 4 and so on. Put r is equal to 2. a2 minus a2 minus 2 a0 this is 2 sorry here is 2 4n plus 4 square means uh, 2 square means 4 take 4 is common minus a0 by 4 into n plus 1 again put r is equal to 3 r is equal to 3 a3 minus a3 minus 1 is a1 divided by r is 3 6n plus 3 square is 9 equal to 0 since a1 value is 0 similarly Similarly, odd numbers a1, a3, a5, a7, a9, a11, all odd values, a, a, odd a values are 0. Only even numbers a0, a2, a4, a6, a8, like this. Because it is given a0 is not equal to 0, and since a1 equal to 0, a1 is equal to 0 means again you put a1 value, this is equal to 0 means a3 is also you get 0. Now, put r is equal to 4. Okay, put r is equal to 4 a4 minus a 
minus a 4 minus 2 is a 2 8 r is a 4 4 into 2 8 n plus 4 square is 16 and you know the n a 2 value okay now take a 2 value substitute so minus minus is a plus a naught and this is a 4 into n plus 1 uh, 4 into n plus 1 this is this is a 4 is a 8 is common 8 into n plus 2 and 4 into n plus 1 is a 32 n plus 1 into n plus 2 this one multiply we substitute these values a naught a1 a2 a3 in equation number 2 this is equation number 2 this is equation number 2 put r is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 and so on you putting r is equal to 0 1 2 3 you get x to k is common x to k is a common this is put r is equal to 0 a naught put r is equal to 1 a1 x put r is equal to a2 x square plus a3 x cube and so on okay also let the solution for k is equal to plus or a plus or minus n be denoted by y1 this is called y1 and take k is equal to plus n okay plus k is equal to plus n x to n a naught you know the a1 value is 0 a2 substitute a2 value this is a a2 value and this is a a4 value substitute a2 values minus a0 uh, minus a0 by 4 into n plus 1 into x square a3 is a 0 substitute a4 values a0 divided by 32 n plus 1 into n plus 2 x is to 4 minus plus minus plus minus you get and so on now a0 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 common take outside a0 x is to n inside is this one this is called equation number 4 now next is since we also have k is equal to plus n is over k is equal to now take k is equal to minus n let the solution of k is equal to minus n be denoted by y2 put here it is y2 replacing n by minus n in equation number 4 so not necessary again we follow these steps okay just to simple n is equal to minus n in equation number 4 now this is y2 a naught x is to minus n and bracket 1 minus x square 2 square okay n is a minus n plus 1 plus x is to 4 32 means 2 raised to 5 2 raised to 5 n is minus n and this n is minus n 4 means 2 square okay now the complete solution of 1 is given this is y is equal to a y1 plus b y2 where a and b are arbitrary constants we shall now standardize the solution of equation number 4 this is equation number 4 by choosing by choosing by choosing a naught a naught is called a naught is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to n gamma of n plus 1 and the same be denoted by y1 now y1 is equal to taking equation number 4 y1 is equal to a naught this is a naught okay equation number 4 take y naught so y more y naught is a 1 upon x to n is there 2 raised to n gamma of n plus 1 into bracket okay this one this is one okay now not gamma of n plus 1 take inside means multiply each term now x by 2 holds to n now 1 upon gamma of n plus 1 is multiply 1 upon gamma of n plus 1 minus this is x by 2 whole square and multiply n plus 1 into gamma n plus 1 plus x by 2 whole square uh, holds to 4 and multiply gamma in this term uh, this term so n plus 1 into n plus 2 into gamma n plus 2 into 2 okay now this is 2 raised to 4 and 2, 1, 2, 1 upon 2 raised to 4 1 upon 2 is there that is called a 2 raised to 5 you split like this okay you split like this now so we have a property of gamma functions gamma n is a n minus 1 into gamma n minus 1 gamma of n plus 2 is a n plus 1 into gamma n plus 1 
gamma of 3 n plus 3 is equal to gamma of n plus 3 is equal to n plus 2 into gamma n plus 2 or n plus 2 into n plus 1 gamma n plus 1 like this okay now see this one n plus 1 n plus 1 into gamma n plus 1 is a 1 upon gamma n plus 2 and n plus 1 into n plus 2 into gamma n plus 1 that is called 1 upon gamma of n plus 3 okay sorry this is gamma of n plus 3 this is gamma n plus 2 now now x by 2 whole raised to n now 1 my min take minus 1 raised to 0 is 1, on 1 only gamma n plus 1 0 factor is 1 only and uh, x by 2 whole raised to 0 is also 1 now take plus now take next step is minus 1 raised to 1 is a minus sign 1 upon gamma of n plus 2 1 factor is 1 only and this is x by 2 whole square now plus minus 1 whole square is a plus sign only 1 upon gamma of n plus 3 2 means 2 factor only x by 2 whole raised to 4 plus so on now this term you write in a summation so x by 2 whole raised to n summation r is 0 to infinity so minus minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 means minus 1 raised to r divided by gamma of n plus 1 gamma of n plus 1 gamma of n plus 2 gamma n plus n plus 3 and so on gamma of n plus r plus c 1 and 0 factorial 1 factor 3 factor and so on r factorial x by 2 holds to 0 whole square whole to 4 means x by 2 holds to 2 r put r is equal to 0 1 2 3 you get this series now x by 2 take inside the summation so x by 2 holds to n x by 2 holds to 2 r that is a x by 2 holds to n plus 2 r this is minus 1 by r so 1 upon gamma of n plus r plus 1 into r r factorial now this function is called the Bessel's functions of the first kind of order n denoted by j n of x this is it denoted by j n of x thus j n of x is equal to summation r is 0 to infinity minus 1 raised to r x by 2 whole raised to n plus 2 r into 1 upon gamma of n plus r plus 1 into r factorial okay now further the solution for k is equal to minus n take k is equal to minus n in respect of y2 be denoted by jn minus of x not necessary not necessary find it again the same steps just put k is equal to minus n so in y2 hence the general solution of the Bessel's equation is y is equal to a jn of x plus b jn minus n of x this is